You there! What happened here? Who killed the sentries? Not me. Is that a joke? You won't be laughing when I drag you before Earl Edward to answer for your incompetence. I would very much like to meet your Earl Edward. Uh, Captain, I think that's a real Viking. Drop your weapon, Stain, and submit to me! I'm Norse, and you will die for soiling the honor of the Raven Clan. You're a true Raven Clan. My name is Roshan, and we share a common enemy. Nigga! myself here. Brutal death is glorious to them. No sense that a peaceful life is a worthwhile thing. How do we stop that? They then sacrifice little things for the little gods. Like the earth, the weather, and the such. What a waste. We have to pray our men of God can convert more of them to our Lord's eternal care. his eye on one of the Dane's women. She's just a farm girl, but her brothers have the look of Reavers. <laughs>
Lord, tis Boggy, the god of swamp gas.
Survey the area, Sudan. I need your boat. Sorry.
My child, your home is cursed with shit. I wish I could laugh, but... I cannot. Yes, that rank odor is from the devil. The devil who produced me with this prick. Oh, that smell. He dips his arrows in cow dung and never washes. Says it brings him luck. We're doomed to choke in father's shithouse. The cow dung he keeps is in those crates. It has mutated into the most unholy of pungent monsters. Oh, oh. Need to be careful here. The smell could kill you. like a trap. Something is not right. Stink from those crates is gone. But in my experience, if you do not cure the sauce, shit returns. My father, Diggolas, he's a famous archer, but he never washes. Never. I'm going to confront him, that pox. Mother, I'm going to get father back. I've had enough. Change is in the air. Literally. The war 
is over. Our home is clean. You can stop sinking up the earth. Take a bath. It's not my fault. My filth is useful. My arrows are more deadly, covered in shit. No one was complaining during war. One day get down, but my heroic odor will persist. It is what gives me my special powers. God told me, leave me to my ambrosia of mud and might. Soon, my clan of mud warriors will enlist me again in a new war. It's not my fault. My filth is useful. My arrows are more deadly, covered in shit. No one... Need to be careful here. Again, my beautiful Degolas. My love, you are finally clean. Our home also. Come here, my love. I can see your skin again. How does it feel to be clean again, Degolas? This clean feeling is strange to me. I was happy as a degenerate mud ball. I never worried about these vain ventures. Your desires are not always those of your gods, your family, and your, well, those you lie with. I feel I've sold my war yourself. The grime inspired my bow. My shit arrows would strike fear into my foe's nose. Well, I'm certain your arrows will still fly true. You did not lose your archer skill. Only time will tell. Be well, stranger.
to see you. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She is a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Tell me about what you do here. Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. But right now, we're more concerned with you building us a place to do our work. Get on that soon, won't you? I must take my leave. So long. Goodbye, Eivor. What is it you do here again? I buy and sell all manner of items. What's more, I am connected to a wide network of other traders. Meaning I have access to nearly everything you could want. Right here. But I cannot do much of anything if I don't have a place to work. If you can build a place for me, I can get started right away. I will see you later, friend. Until next time, Eivor. Good day! A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes. Vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. A 
an interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. A pleasure to see you again, Eivor. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Be well, my friend. Where did the others go? Eivor, you should hear this. Ah, this Bakrat and his friends had the foolish balls to raid Ravensthor. Are the others dead? A few. Most of them escaped. They did not damage much, but made off with some of our gear. Should I get Ranvi? No. She has enough on her table. I will handle this. So... You thought you would play at Viking, little man. Are you prepared to go all the way? You won't get anything out of me, Danish scum. I'll never talk. I'm Norse. And what makes you think I want to hear you talk? Maybe I will take my payment in flesh. Chop off his leg. It does not have to be a clean cut. No need to sharpen your blade. No, please! Don't cut off my leg! It was Sir Edward who wanted your stuff. He paid us to do it. Sir Edward? Yes, the Earl of Westerner. Or, or that's what he calls himself. Said he hates Vikings. Your lot especially. Where can I find this Sir Edward, Earl of Westerner? I don't know. I'm new. We were supposed to steal the gear, then meet at the longship west of Ravensburg. That's all I know. You can take him to Randry now. Maybe we can trade him for a pig. I am off to check out this longship.
our prisoner did not lie about this location. Fear breeds truth. Looks like they were planning to launch a raid dressed as the Raven Clan and blame us for it. The Saxons must have stolen this longship. They added our clan banner, but do not know how to mount shields. This outfit is still in good shape. I'll reclaim it for our clan. This was a slaughter, not a battle. Their wounds are very precise and familiar. Kill the sentries. Not me. Is that a joke? You won't be laughing when I drag you before Earl Edward to answer for your incompetence. I would very much like to meet your Earl Edward. Uh, Captain, I think that's a real Viking. Drop your weapons, Dane, and submit to me. I'm Norse, and you will die for soiling the honor of the Raven Clan. You are true, Raven Clan. My name is Roshan, and we share a common enemy. Sir Edward. The Earl of Westerna is a puppet, manipulated by one called Alcila. A fitting title given her duplicitous nature. She belongs to an order who employ disruption and strive to further their ends. Your clan is a tool in her schemes. I have met such weavers of intrigue before, and those who oppose them. I would consider the enemy of my enemy a friend. Let me guide you to where you can take your revenge on the Earl. Lead the way. If this Alcila seeks to wield my clan's honor as a weapon, she shall find it cut both ways. Satisfy yourself with the Earl, and leave Alcila to me. Ah, uh, perhaps this task is best left to one who is younger. To one more familiar with these lands. I was killing her kind before you were off your mother's teeth. The Earl's death will draw her out. Leave the rest to me. That blade you wear upon your arm. Where did you get it? It was a gift. From my brother. Truly? Is he a... A great warrior and traveler who discovered many things. And yours? Reclaimed after a long absence. The years without it were the hardest I've known. Your endurance is impressive for one of your years. And I meant no disrespect when I offered to kill the one you. My blade has grown neither rusty nor dull. What I lack in brutish strength, I make up in quiet subtlety. I too can be silent when I choose. Ha! Huh. You may be exceptional among your kind, child, but I am a lifetime ahead of you in that. What do you know of Earl Edward? Why does he hate the Raven Clan so? He blames you for the loss of his title and property. The very land where Ravensthorpe now stands. It was there for the taking, abandoned and uncared for. His quarrel is with those who came before us. It matters not to him. He hates all Vikings and will work with whomever will help discredit you and drive you from England.
We will have a better view from atop this tower. That is where Alcila and the Earl may camp. At Ravensburg, no less. They will choke on their arrogance. Alcila's gold has built up the fort's defenses. It will be no easy thing to penetrate. A challenge for some, perhaps. Less so for me. Do you know what lies within its walls? If I describe what I've learned, could you picture it with your mind's eye? I can do better. Soon in! Listen carefully. The Saxons within the outer wall are less disciplined. <laughs> Relying on their Viking attire to deflect curiosity. They will not notice one more Viking among them. I could use the outfit I took off the dead Saxon at the longship. Very good. Also, some Saxons are engaged in tasks which could help you blend in. What of the Earl? Where is he? Within the heart of the encampment. He plays at holding court. But in truth, Alcila keeps him leashed like a hungry dog. The Earl's death must be loud and unmistakable. A clamor Alcila cannot ignore. So, a silent approach with a noisome finish. This is your counsel. Is your mind capable of balancing two conflicting ideas while orchestrating this necessary distraction? I could kill the Earl a hundred different ways while composing a great song for the occasion. Do you have a preference? In the open, beneath that tree, approach silently. Then kill him in full view of his men. That will draw the spider out. I will create a commotion the guards could not ignore. Good. Will you now don the outfit you took from the Saxon imposter? To better blend with the rest. This disguise will help me play the imposter. <laughs> 